Murray County's EF3 tornado tore apart not just property but lives. In just 27 minutes, 140 mile an hour winds damaged more than 100 homes. News 2's Nikki McGee saw the destruction today, but also the hope still held by people living there. Day three of cleanup in Murray County is just beginning to reveal the true damage left behind by Wednesday's EF3 tornado. Annette Baum was home with her two daughters. I grew up in Oklahoma. I was like in shock in a way, like could this really be happening, you know, for the first time. And I'm hearing the whistling of the tornado and I watch tree after tree just fall in waves. But Saturday turned a new page on their road to recovery. Roughly 20 of the many volunteers on Blackburn Lane lending a helping hand, cleaning up debris they thought would take them months to clear. As a thank you, they passed out snacks and drinks to keep those crews going. Like from the bottom of our hearts, like thank you, thank you, thank you, Tennessee, for coming out and helping. Like. I know. We're just going to keep paying it forward yeah. because we've been helped so much and now we just want to go out and, and help even more. Just down the road, Ricky Huckabee tells me he recalls seeing the tornado actually coming over the hill. His niece and her daughters live in this trailer right here and he recalls telling them to get to his basement in the house and they say seven minutes later is when the tornado struck, moving her trailer an estimated 10 to 15 feet. I um was cooking dinner for my two young ones and um, something was just getting really weird and just odd outside and something in my gut just told me I had to get out. Now Brooke, her parents and her uncle's home are some of the more than 240 damaged from Murray County storms. Just got in and it hit and I could just hear stuff everywhere and I thought, well, the upstairs of the house is gone. But it wasn't, it's still standing. <laughs> it's damaged, but it's still there. But next steps for Brooke and her four children remain unclear. I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't know where to go or what to do. What The kids are just completely distraught mess. You know, we don't know. However, her uncle holds out hope. Material things, it's rough, but we'll, we'll come back. Main thing is God let everybody live, you know. In Murray County, Nikki McGee, News 2.